never come again. It has to. You're the answer, son. You're the answer to are we alone in the universe. Can I just keep pretending I'm your son? You are my son. And I have to believe that you were sent here for a reason. Meow. 20 years in Gotham, how many good guys are left? What are you? I'm Batman. Can I be like you someday? You can be anything you want to be. evidence that the Snyderverse is going to continue at least on HBO Max. They appear to be advertising HBO Max to Europe, excluding England currently, with purely the Snyderverse, thus making the Snyderverse somewhat canon. But wait, Walter Hamada said that the Swastis, Swastis, Justice Swastis League was canon. This is the case. Why is the We Are DC trailer why does it only have snyderverse footage in the trailer so yo what is good you here if you're new around any of the videos check us out on instagram at voice a beautiful face behind the voice also check us on twitter voice gg because i've got that would help me out so we're going to talk some snyderverse there is more evidence suggesting the snyderverse will be returning not that it actually went anywhere because if you look at the flash movie reportedly we have henry cavill superman in it we definitely have ben affleck in it jason momoa has been seen on set although they are shooting Aquaman 2 or Aquaman 2, The Lost Kingdom in the same place in London where they're shooting The Flash, so he could be in it. Gal Gadot was also seen recently in London, close to where they are shooting. So The Flash movie to me is just a Snyderverse DCE based movie. And the fact that Andy Morchetti has put Ezra Miller with the glasses on, but Zack Snyder didn't do that. Oh wait, Zack Snyder did post an image recently. Okay, not really in the last six months with Ezra Miller with glasses on. And the Muschettis, Andy Muschetti, liked the Snyder Cut. The Snyder Cut is canon. Wonder Woman 1984, canon to Snyder Cut. Aquaman, spin-off of the Snyder Cut. Everything is canon to the Snyder Cut. So I do find it funny when people say, it's dead, it's buried. Well, what is the point of this multiverse then? Because the whole multiverse, the idea, multiple stories running at the same time. So recently, super duper Twitter scooper, and to be fair, Daniel RPK is one of the better ones, but if it's not coming from the studio themselves, take it with a pinch of salt because he has had his fair share of misses, but RPK's had his fair share of hits when it comes to trailers. So the Flash Film News Twitter handle at Flash Film News tweeted this. According to Daniel RPK, the Flash movie will revisit all of the DCEU movies and give them an alternate take. Warner Bros would use the Flash movie to set up a new Justice League. Now, what I find very funny about that statement is we are still going to be having Zack Snyder's Flash because he casted him. We're still going to be having at least Gal Gadot Wonder Woman because he casted her. We're still going to be having Jason Momoa, Aquaman, because Snyder, him. So that is three members of the Justice League. Now, we can't say if or how, if or when Henry Cavill is going to appear because he's also been reportedly been seen on set of the Flash movie as well. But then people are trying to tell you he's also in the Black Adam movie, 
But then from what I've been hearing for the last year, since before the movie, the Snyder Cut was actually released, I heard that Henry Cavill was going to be Superman for the foreseeable future it's just warner brothers has a really weird way of telling the audience what they're doing and then you combine it with warner max being reunited and then you mix it with the merger david the ceo discovery who will be taking over essentially of everything saying he wants to bring back talent he wants to bring back creativity henry cavill is that well liked and has that much respect in hollywood that a lot of people want him to be the next James Bond, which would be cool. But if he is the next James Bond, I hate to tell you this, the Superman is gone. So everything is canon to the Snyderverse still. So RPK's comments are kind of irrelevant, really, when you think about it, because we already know it's going to revisit all the DCEU movies because it's a multi-first based story. So that is realistically a pointless message. If he even says that, to be fair, I feel sorry for Daniel RPK because he gets quoted all the time. They never show the quote. It's always like, yeah, it said it on his Patreon, but you don't know if that unless you pay for Patreon and I would never pay for Patreon. But according to the Twitter sphere, that was set. So the most recent trailer is a European trailer. It is very, it is literally a Snyder Cut trailer about we are DC, we are family. It's literally setting up Justice League 2. The last shot is Darkseid. How many demons has he fought? How many hells has he fought? And that kind of stuff. You know that the ending scene when it's like, ready the Armada. And then we get the Ben Affleck bit where he's, they literally are setting up Justice League 2. We are fans. We are DC. And I've never been against whatever Walter Hamada is trying to do. I just believe if they are going to introduce the multiverse, we can have whatever continuity they want and still have the Snyderverse. This is HBO Max. So as far as I know, like I keep telling you guys, and we're hearing other reports from bigger scoopers saying we're getting a Deathstroke Joe Manganiello exclusive series on HBO Max. We're getting a Batgirl series on HBO Max, which is kind of being confirmed, which does have ties to the DCEU. So the Snyderverse isn't actually going anywhere. As far as I know, the Snyderverse will be reunited when David takes over from AT&T. And the, okay, it's not a merger. Why people call it merger? But essentially this trailer is essentially saying the Snyderverse is canon or it's saying that Warner Bros is still tied to HBO Max, whichever roundabout way you want to look at it. But it's essentially saying please buy hbo max we have the snyderverse on there no justice league shots were in the trailer also it's got batman versus superman the ultimate cut which is the real cut and also henry cavill superman is actually featured throughout this trailer now if this trailer came out for global hbo max there'd be a feed and frenzy for sure so although you guys keep getting annoyed that i keep doing snyderverse based content Guys, you like me covering all Marvel, DC, pop culture based stuff. And I do think this trailer is pretty big because this happened a few days after the Warner Media Entertainment president came out and said, The Justice League is phenomenal. It's a phenomenal movie. And then she also said Batman versus Superman Ultimate Cut, which is the real cut, is iconic. Things are lining up. If you guys have been listening to me for the last two years, you would not question the validity of the credibility of what I'm saying. So the evidence is starting to come out publicly for you guys to say that. Not only that, at DC Family event, I put a video out saying the Aya cut would be announced. There isn't much work to do on the Aya cut. As far as I know, it could very well be announced there. David Aya, since I posted that video about a week or two ago now, has come out cryptic tweet saying, it's happening guys, I never thought it would. Cryptic cryptic sto Instagram stories then he deletes it. Now, I'm not the only person saying it. There's a bunch of people on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Vero, etc. saying the same thing. So if we do get confirmation of the Ayaka at DC Fandom event, that solidifies everything. Now, I know Anne Cernoff was like, no, the Ayaka is never, ever coming. But David Ayer came out recently and said the guys over at Warner Bros. are brilliant. Then he's putting these cryptic tweets out, showing more images of Joker and his henchmen we've never seen before. Kind of similar behavior to what Zack Snyder did, although he never actually gave Warner Brothers credit and said they're great. But he did start posting images and... David Ayer is kind of, he's kind of copying exactly what Zack Snyder did. So like always, guys, let me know what you think down below. Like I said, it's not 100% confirmed, but everything is starting to line up with things I heard nearly a year ago now, and you can visually see it yourself. This is the second trailer 
for the Snyderverse, essentially in the past week, HBO Max are really trying to tell you something from behind the scenes. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at Wistu if you want to see the face behind the voice. Also, check us out on Twitter at Wistu G because I got like five followers over there and that'd be much appreciated. And I'll catch you in another video, guys, very soon. Catch ya later.